Welcome everyone. I am your host, Lord Orfeo, variety streamer here on Twitch in addition to being a YouTuber. I stream five days a week and I have two primary stream themes throughout the week. On Mondays, we have the Monday Mishmash, called thus because it takes place on Mondays, and because it is a mishmash of game genres, meaning we can play any game from any genre on Mondays with the exception of role-playing games, which we save for later on during the week. So expect all manner of variety from us on Mondays. And then on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we have RPG Afternoons. And so if you like role-playing games, then those last four stream days out of the week are for you. And so if either of those stream themes sound of interest to you, then I encourage you to drop me a follow, and I hope to see you sometime during the week. And now with our opening announcements out of the way, let us return to the stream of the day. So again, we are here for RPG Afternoons, and this is Bloodborne from from Software. So, what did we do yesterday in Bloodborne, and what are we doing today? Yesterday, we began the Loran Chalice Dungeons. We did the Ailing Loran Chalice Dungeon, and then its Root Variant. So, today... We are doing the lower Loran Chalice Dungeons. Um, we are going to do the first one, the standard lower Loran, uh, single player. And uh, we'll see how long that takes us to get through. It is a depth, I think, of four. So it's going to be a bit tougher than yesterday's dungeons. Um, then after our first Chalice Dungeon is over, the one that we're soloing, we're going to take a break. And we're going to co-stream GameFest. So GameFest is from 5 o'clock in the afternoon, my time, to 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, so we're going to see if we can knock out the Chalice Dungeon by 4.30 in the afternoon top. So that gives us a little over two hours to knock it out. Let's start logging in. Um... Once Game Fest is over, we'll be coming back here to Bloodborne to knock out uh, the two root variants of the Chalice Dungeon of Lower Laran, which is the root and then the sinister uh, root. And that will completely conclude our Bloodborne stream for the day. And uh, yeah, they'll only have one day left of Bloodborne after this and that will be tomorrow <sighs> so let's begin let me pop in my earbuds on oh, grumpy bear is here welcome in grumpy how are you doing grumpy did you ever complete all the uh the chalice dungeons And I'm doing all right, Grumpy. Happy to be back here playing some more Bloodborne, getting to stream and chat with everyone. All right. As usual, before we start our Chalice Dungeon, let's get in a little more here. Let's go back over the lower Loran Chalice, and it is depth. Five. I thought it was depth four. So it is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, I've only gone through a level five, yeah, once before with the Midway Heal Chalice. Dungeon. Required 11,500 Blood Echoes, nine Ritual Blood Fives, and four Blooming Cold Blood Flowers. The description of the Chalice reads, A Chalice that breaks a Labyrinth Seal. But only a root chalice changes the shape of the chalice dungeon when used in a ritual. There are trace remains of medical procedures in parts of Ailing Loran. Whether these were attempts to control the scourge of the beast or the cause of the outbreak is unknown. Okay. Let's go. Chamber of the Seal. 
Preppy says, I don't remember. I think so, yes. Okay. <sighs> we are almost finished with all of the Chalice Dungeons. We have six more to go in total. And that's it. Lower Loran and Great Is. We're not going to lower Loran out today. Great Is out tomorrow. Are you going to be checking out Summer Game Fest? Kirby says, I have to check if I can join Chalice in New Game Plus 3. Maybe to join you if you need some co-op. Sure, co-op would be welcome. Co-op won't be available till much later today. In another, about another five hours from now, co-op will open. Yes, the more Hunter help, the better. Blood vials. All right, we've got ladder and path ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me, and path ahead. Let's do path ahead. We have no path ahead. I was wrong. There is only ladder. All right. Shortcut back. More blood vials. Silver beast. vials and you should be able to join me from new game plus three ritual blood five so long as you have the the chalices in your inventory that's all that matters oh 
Uh oh. More blood vials. Oil urns. Another ladder. Shortcut door back. Unlock that. Alright. Did I say this was blood vials? No, oil urns, okay. Open pathway on ladder side. Okay. Explore ladder side first. Yay, blood vials. Okay. And what's in here? Ritual blood five. Try the other side. Shit. 
Sheesh. Fire damp blood gem six. Blood vial. Ritual Blood 5. More blood vials. No spiders in ceiling. Bullets. Shining coins. And I think that's it. We cleared out this area. All right, time for main room. store up ahead or gate anyway nothing there nothing there <laughs> open passageway Another open passageway. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. So there's only one way forward. Nothing that way. Nothing this way. Is there anything over there? I tried getting up there and I couldn't do it. Okay, I can do it. All right.
Ah, I was too slow to react. I should have gone with my instincts and stabbed. That would have stagged the spider a little bit and then I could have slashed. Oil. I question if I looked at everything in this room, though. Did I come from this way? I did. Okay. There's a door there. Okay, yeah, that's everything. Nice, more blood vials. All right, Lieber. They've been pretty generous with the uh, the blood vials so far. I appreciate that. Looks like we're done here. Let's go back to Bosky. And you can see there's other items around. I feel like... Oh, maybe he died. I bet it's in one of these chalice dungeons that the Guidance Carl 3 rune can be found. You probably have to equip the, um... The Beast's Embrace. Or if not the Beast's Embrace, at least the other Beast runes to give yourself increased fall damage resist and then do some crazy drops. Like, you can see there's an item right there. But I can't reach it because there's no way for me to get down there. Like, maybe I could walk out where... I don't know, maybe I could go over there and then jump? And land over there? And then walk off and then land down there? Cross the bridge and then scoop up the item? But there's no safe way for me to get down there. And that could be a really good item. That could be it. Who knows? No side areas. Time for the boss. All right, we're half an hour in and we're going up against our first boss already. Who's it gonna be? Laurent Silver Beast. Okay. I 
almost... Okay. Pray slaughtered. We are victorious! Tempering Damp Blood Gem 6. We almost got a flawless victory there. We were stagger locking him pretty well with the greatsword. I just ran out of stamina at the very end. <sighs> Alright, first boss is down. No side areas. Lots of enemies in that room. See the boss gate over there? Okay. Let's go back to entrance. Okay. Oh, looks like someone with a tonitrus back there. ladder. Hello, supervillain. I hear footsteps. How are you doing? Welcome on into the stream. We have an open passageway. Boss gate. Closed door. Another open doorway. There's a lot of doorways up here. To make keeping track of things easier, we're just going to explore every passageway, whether it's up or down, uh, as we go in a circle here. So, first thing we come across is the ladder. Let's try ladder. 
How am I? I'm alright. Having a good time so far. Beware of trap. We're trying to knock out all chalice dungeons in Bloodborne. Uh, though if anyone needs help in their game, whether it's main campaign, DLC, or their own chalice dungeons, I will be more than happy to assist. Ooh, imp. I want to go after imp first. Bolt Damp Blood Gem 5. But we've beaten the game. We've gotten the Platinum Trophy. So we've beaten it uh, four times. This is... New Game Plus Plus Plus. And uh, you can see I'm rocking the Magic Shield and Ludwig's Holy Blade. And uh, I love Bloodborne. It's a lot of fun. And after getting the Platinum Trophy, I didn't want to stop playing. And so for completionist's sake, I figured why not? Let's just go through every single Chalice Dungeon. And so far, we've done that with all of the Thumeru Dungeons, all of the Hinter Tomb, and uh, all of the regular Ailing Loran. So this is Lower Loran. And then after this, we have the two root variants. The standard root and the sinister root. All right, let's go right first. Oh, wait. All right, no spiders in ceiling. Have I ever played Brawl Stars? I have not. Is that a Nintendo property? All right, we have a closed door up here. All right, we have a closed door and an open door. Let's take the open door first. And that goes down. Try going through here. Oh, I'm back where I was earlier. Okay. So we opened a little shortcut door there. Let's keep going down. got poison? A madman with... Well, actually, it's bleed. Sheesh. Dirty, damp bludge M5. No. Do I believe... Do I believe a Bloodborne remake is coming? No. I'm really hoping, especially hoping today... Because today is Game Fest, I'll be co-streaming that in a couple of hours. That, uh, ow! Ah. Ooh. What I'm really hoping for is either a port or a remaster. Fire Damp Blood Gem 6. There have been some clues that a Bloodborne port or remaster are being worked on. There's been uh, lately, new Bloodborne merchandise released, as in, like, uh, apparel, like boots and a watch and gloves with uh, a clothing designer. And it was spurred by Sony, and it's like, why would Sony want to do that? Unless it was either part of a marketing campaign to introduce a new Bloodborne game, or if it was meant to ride the hype from a new Bloodborne game. Um, 
I think FromSoft has just been too busy, too tied up with Shadow of the Ur Tree. But I could definitely see them... Let's go right first. I could definitely see them... Um, just porting the game to PC. Which is something I would really like to see. Uh, I follow quite a few uh, streamer friends on Twitch and YouTube. And they only have PCs. So they've played all the Dark Souls games. And they've played Elden Ring, but they can't play Bloodborne. And that's a shame because Bloodborne is an amazing game. So... I'm hoping for that. I also think instead of a port, we could see... Uh... There we go. We could see maybe a remaster that would allow the game to run at 60 frames per second, and that could go to PC, and it could also go to PlayStation 5. So... I could see either of those happening. Oh. I was trying to catch but chat there. Rats just snuck up on me. Ah, oh, and Guy is here. Hello, Guy. How are you doing? Guy says, hey, PlayStation official merch? I think it was uh, allowed by PlayStation. I think that PlayStation may own the intellectual property rights to Bloodborne, which means no one else can make Bloodborne uh, merch without their say-so. And Guy has also redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome in, Guy, for the very first time. Again. No, but I posted that information a bit ago in the Discord, and I don't remember where I posted that. It was either in gaming gear or it was in gaming news but i think that happened like a uh about a month ago let me see if i can pull it up real quick shouldn't be that hard to do considering there's not really many news articles about bloodboard sadly I know where I put it. But it looks really nice. Look, the stuff is kind of expensive. But, um... The details look pretty cool. Especially the, um... The pocket watch. The pocket watch looks just like... Here we go. It looks like the front of the clock tower here in the game. And I think that's pretty neat. I'm going to post a link in the chat if you want to check it out. There you go. Oh, and welcome to our magic menage right there, supervillain. I appreciate the follow. Guys, says Silk Song has been confirmed not to be today, but everyone is saying it will come on Sunday at the Xbox Showcase. You hope. I can see that happening. Supervillain has redeemed Hydrate. Very well. Cheers, Supervillain. Guy asks, when is Summer Game Fest? Uh, Summer Game Fest is a, I think it's like a three or four day event. But the actual main presentation is... Later today, it is in about two hours from now. And so we're hoping that we can wrap up this Chalice Dungeon within that time. And then we'll, um, we'll co-stream it. If not, then we'll just stop 
wherever we're at in this dungeon and then go stream it and then come back to finish this up. Enjoy your lurk, guy. Little by little, we're thinning the herd here. Tomb Mold 5. How many are left? Two are left? Now none are left. Bullets. Blood vials, nice. Pull up again. Still got some more over there, should we need. Let's take this guy out. Alright, what is this? More bullets. And more bullets. I don't use bullets, I don't use a gun. So, I mean, I, I loot everything I find, but... In cold blood 10. Because I don't use bullets, they just rack up in my inventory, and I have, like, full storage and full personal inventory of nothing but bullets. Alright, so it looks like that's it for this room. Let's try going the other way. This way. That's sus. A large, open, empty room with the lever at the end of it. Hmm. Well, we did it. We unlocked the door. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. No, I don't see anything. Okay. So far we've defeated the first boss of this dungeon, which was a silver beast. I don't know how many bosses there are. In standard Loran, there was three bosses. But lower Loran, no idea. Could be three, could be four, could be five. Alright, there's nothing else in this room. I'm trying to backtrack. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I guess not. Really? I thought there were two doors in here, though. I thought there was that one, but then I thought maybe over here... On the left, there was a door. Oh, I was right. Good memory. Okay. Beware of beasts. Oh, I, th I think I see him all the way down the hall. He travels far. Bye! Alright, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Okay, so this is the, the long hallway. In Cold Blood 11. And 
and that's it for this room. It looks like I can drop right down there and loot that item. And I might do that, but I'm gonna wait. See if there's a safer way down there. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Let's see if we can get rid of some of the incense burners. a bit better. We've got a hole in the floor. Let's try and tiptoe around that. I hear quite a few enemies over there. That's not good. We're at the top of some stairs, okay. Nothing out here. Spider. Alright, we'll try exploring this upper passageway first. Thought I saw something back here. This is bad. A bell lady summoning spiders? And a big beast. I can do one or the other, not both at the same time. Oh, I'm just trying to get away. I need to find the bell lady. There she is. I see her. Alright, that thinned it out a little bit. There's still red creatures coming after me. That means there's still a bell lady around here that I miss. I see her. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my goodness. I think there's still a big... man, beast, wolf thing, too. There he is. Oh. Oh, boy. That was fun. Okay. Came from that way. Trying not to get turned around here. Blood vials, nice. Would you drop more blood vials? Bullets. Beast blood pellet, interesting. Okay. Anything else up here? Not that I can see. Okay. Blood vials. Bullets. In Cold Blood 10.
I'm gonna stick to the left. Blood vials. It looks like that's it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's try going downstairs. Is there anything down that I can see? No. Okay. to go. Wait, was this the way to go? I thought I saw a lot of enemies through the doorway. You know what I probably did? They probably just wandered out of line of sight. Yeah. Okay. more, huh? Nope, we still got more. A lot of enemies in here. I'll take one of those. Thank you. More blood vials. Nothing there. Ah! Found a trap. Closed door. Looks like that's it, just a closed door, okay. We got a chest here in the middle. Bastards of Lauren. All right, we made it back outside here. I thought we would. This is where we could have dropped down to from earlier. Blood cocktails. Special door here. Beast Hunter's Damp Blood Gem 5. 
What were you guarding? Blooming cold blood flowers. Okay. Do we have any other goodies around here? No. Ah, here we go. Red jelly. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh -huh, another chest. Good. Ritual blood fives. Alright, looks like that was it. We can get out of here now. There's the bridge. I don't see enemies walking. Yeah, there's they're dead down there. That means okay. You went down the stairs that takes you into that that hallway. All right, let's get back. Okay. Yeah, there's that passage down here. We're backtracking. And now we're back out in the main hall. Okay. So we've taken the ladder path. We've taken that door. There's still some more passages around here, though. That's the boss gate. Here's a closed door. Let's see where this goes. No, it's just this just takes you back into the main room. Just takes you back into the main room. Well, that's weird. Hmm. All right. And I think that's it. That is really weird. I would expect something like this out of a root dungeon, not out of like a main dungeon. Where it's completely empty? Hmm. Alright, let's go through the boss gate. No side rooms here.
interesting. It's a boss room, but it's a boss room in which you have to descend stairs. Alright, so who's boss number two going to be? Abhorrent beast. Oh boy. It's so easy to get the timing wrong with him. I don't really have a lot of it. It's like he waits, he knows what you're doing, and he's like, no, I'll just, I'll hang out here. Out of, just out of reach. While you charge up your attack. Oh, gotta run. Try longsword. And I keep mistiming the dodges too. Either I dodge too soon or too early. And then usually, whether he hits, that sucker punch is so fast. And I'm dead. Yeah. If he can stay still for a while, I can deal a lot of damage, but he has to stay still. <sighs> ah, welcome in, Dread. How you doing? Dread has redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome in, Dread, for the very first time again. I think regardless of weapon, I can't stagger him with the greatsword or the longsword. So I may as well just use longsword. I think I actually can stagger him with greatsword. But only if I get a charged R2. I've said it before, this guy is like the perfect beast. Like, you never fight a beast like him in the main game. You can, if you are part of that, uh, that special mission, that special side quest with the guy that you can help and send him to Odin Chapel. But outside of that, I try to dodge too late. You never get to face anything like this guy in the main game. He is the perfect beast enemy. He's fast, he's strong, he has incredible range. You can predict all of his moves, but being able to predict his moves does, doesn't really do that much good because he's just so fast. And he hits so hard. And he has projectile attacks. Oh, finally. Get visceral. Let's try going to Great Sword. It's like I have to almost get lucky here. Look at that. 
He knew. He knew. He dodged away. He knew it was going to happen. He's so incredibly smart. Like, the AI in Bloodborne, the enemy AI, is like, it's almost on par with, like, Ninja Gaiden. Like, it's that impressive. I'm not even sure that did anything when I hit him. I dodged one too many times there. I couldn't get in the L2 attack. I'm gonna have to go back to Longsword. I just can't Greatsword this guy. He's just way too fast. I tried to dodge there, didn't have enough time. And I'm dead. Ugh. You almost have to anticipate his moves and try to dodge beforehand. Because with some of those moves, if you see them happening and you try to react, it's already too late. Oh. Dreads is pretty good. Just playing some Elden Ring. How are you? Nice, Dread. Nice. I'm doing all right. We are now at the second boss here in the Lower Laran Chalice Dungeon. And uh, Abhorrent Beast is a toughie. We've gotten pretty close. Hopefully we'll uh we'll get him eventually. Sometime soon here. But doing well, having fun. No, don't jump towards him. I'm gonna die. Whatever, whatever. I couldn't get the visceral. We all heard that visceral effect. He bowed down. I got close to him and I just, nothing happened. You don't know when he does that that punch move if he's going to draw his claw up and attack you or if he's just going to go in for the punch. If he goes in for the punch, it's extremely fast. Like it looks slow on screen, but it's got to be one of the fastest moves in the entire game. Like it's blindingly fast. I'm dead. <sighs> I got greedy. I just wanted to end him. He's so hard. He doesn't... Per hit, he doesn't deal too much damage. But he also barely takes any damage. Unless he stands still, and he almost never stands still. Ugh. 
such a tough boss. He's got to be one of the toughest bosses in the game. I'm going to try Great Sword again. I didn't mean to do a switch attack. I tried to pick up my blood echoes there, I couldn't do it. Let's try it again. Okay, that time I got him. I might I might have died though to get the blood echoes. <laughs> Look at that range! Look how far away I was when he did that. The range and this Look at that! Again! The range and the speed of this creature is it's just it feels impossible like there's no better example of a strong beast enemy in the entire game he's he's perfect he is the perfect beast beast boss only Lawrence comes close but you could argue that Lawrence is just cheap Finally. die here. Oh, we did it! We did it! Praise slaughtered! We are victorious! Bolt damp blood gem six. Oh my goodness. I had to go with the great sword. I just needed some well-timed, charged R2s. It's hard to land those, though. He's so, so smart. Usually, if he sees you charging them, he won't run at you. It's like you have to tease him out. You have to bait him. Just, like, stand in front of him for a little while and then do the charge, and then he'll start running at you. It's like he'll get... He'll get anxious. He'll get too blood-crazed. He'll just want to jump at you. Yeah, he says, I'm starting to see why Chalice Dungeons don't scale with New Game Plus. Yeah. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, they get harder and harder as you go. Oh, no. I guess I came from this way then. The doors are open over here. Okay. I'm gonna go explore the side area. I just want to light this lamp first. And... There we go. I'm gonna go back and restock on blood vials. Whew. Oh, 
Alright. None of the blood gems I have can make my weapon stronger. Put those away. Thirty-nine blood vials I used. All right, let's go back. Layer three. Oh, boy. Backtrack a bit. What's that supposed to be of? Hmm. Looks like Two people pulling something, and then you have a cloaked figure in the middle there? I don't know. Alright, side room. Oh, welcome to Magic Menagerie, Amar. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I see a beast up ahead. Is my lamp off? It is off. There we go. I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna get ambushed here. Okay. Charge! Come on in here with me. There we go. Blood vials. Up or down? Let's go up first. No, let's go down. There's an imp down there. Beast Hunter's Damp Blood Gem 5. Sure, let's keep going down. Wait, did he drop anything up there? That big wolf guy, did he drop some blood vials for me? He did. Okay. Yeah. Let me get one of those. No, nah, I still want to go up first. We'll be back. We'll explore downstairs later. Oh, it gets more complicated up here, though. No. All right, let's go down. Down, we only have one path to explore. Up, we have at least two.
That was a bit risky, I just realized. There could have been slimes attached to the underside of the bridge. And they could have dropped on me as I was running to fetch or to, to go kill the rats. I see imp. No. Oh, what? Wait, did I get it? Oh, I did get it. Kitten Hunter's Damp Blood Gem 5. I killed him as he was disappearing. Okay. What's this? Blood Vials. Ha! Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah! Mar asks, do you know me? We played Dark Souls together in the Ring City, and you helped me. We are friends on PlayStation. BS11. BS11 sounds familiar. But yes, welcome on in. Are you still playing Dark Souls 3? Was that oh there was a I didn't see that last time yeah most of the time when I run through these tunnels I've learned to stick to either the far left or the far right because usually if there's some sort of trap it's from the roof anyway, whether it's a slime trap or something else, it's like right in the middle. Or if there's like a floor trap, it's it's right in the middle. So as long as you stay to the sides, it seems like you're more often than not safe. Wait, how did I get here? I thought there was only one way in and one way out. I came from a stair room into this room. Oh, there's two tunnels. I see, I see. I only saw one. Alright, well, let's see what's down this way then. We have a ladder. And we have a ladder. Alright, let's take the ladder. No scope of Mar. Okay. Oh, you're playing it right now? Cool, cool. Maybe I remember BS11 from something else then. So what are you doing right now in Dark Souls 3? There's enough space to stand in between those swinging blades. I think I just have to get lucky. Which kind of stinks. I really didn't think that was going to be possible. blood vials. What I thought was going to happen is I would sprint all the way through and then the last swinging axe would hit me, but I was hoping maybe the last two swinging axes would hit me and like I would get bounced off of one and onto the other and uh, instead of getting thrown one way or the other the two axes would just kind of like balance out my momentum and I would just get pushed out uh, where I'm standing, but like, you know I'd land face first in the dirt here and then have to pick myself up, but no. We actually, uh, yeah, oh joy, we did it. That's pretty crazy. Silver beast, okay. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Try again. Uh-oh. Missed. Uh-oh. Uh 
Okay, now I think they're all dead. More blood vials. Blood vials. What's up here? Ooh, what is this? A red jelly. Hmm. Reeks of child. Yeah, this looks that way. All right, what are these two items here in the corner? Oil urns. Bullets. Anything this way or that? No? Okay. It should be easier to get out of here. How the blades are swinging. Okay. Oof. Online fighting? Oh, okay, like PvP? Yes, I enjoyed my time in Dark Souls 3. For me, it is the hardest so far out of all the Souls games. But it was fun. We are trying to get through every Souls game. Uh, yeah, now we go all the way up. Okay. And we're doing it. We're making progress. So far we've done that with uh, Demon Souls. Dark Souls Remastered. What is that down there? Oh, you can buy stuff from those guys. Okay, let's go that way first. Uh, we've done that with Demon Souls, Dark Souls Remastered, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls 3, and now Bloodborne. Ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot about him. And tomorrow, if everything, if the schedule pans out the way I think it's going to, tomorrow will be our final day with Bloodborne. And the day after that, well, not the day after that, but next week we're starting our first blind playthrough of Elden Ring. Blood Vials. Madman's Knowledge. First playthrough is always blind, or at least very close to being blind. And then we replay the game to go for the Platinum Trophy. And yeah, we have the Platinum in all the Souls games I mentioned already. Oh, what's this here? Pin Cold Blood 12. All right, now what are you guys selling? They never want to sell Ludwig's Holy Blade. They'll sell everything else, but they never want to sell Ludwig's Holy Blade. Ah, so that's how you get the sinister Lower Loran Root Chalice. 18,000 Blood Echoes. Okay, I'll do it. Root Chalice that breaks multiple Labyrinth Seals. When used in a ritual, the Sinister Chalice summons the Sinister Resonant Bell. The Bell Ring Woman appears to be a mad Thumerian. There are trace remains of medical procedures in parts of Ailing Loran. Whether these were attempts to control the scourge of the beast or the cause of the outbreak is unknown. Note additional right Sinister Bell is for online use only. The Bell Ring Woman does not appear offline. Okay. Well, that was worth it. Oh, what's this? Blood vials, okay. <sighs> hey, East is here. Welcome in, East. East says hello, Orpheo, and everyone else. And East has redeemed hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome in, East, for the very first time. Again. What are you doing today? Oh! Hello there. Ow! Ow! Naughty! Naughty beast! Make me use of a blood vial. How dare you. I'm gonna run back down this hallway and snag one of those. Oh, 
There we go. <sighs> so far, making good progress, East. We got about one hour left until we have to start getting ready for the, uh, the Summer Game Fest. We may just finish this dungeon by then. We'll see. In Cold Blood 12. So far, we've beaten two bosses. We beat a, uh, a Silver Beast as a boss. And uh, we beat him first try. And then our second boss that we beat in here was an Abhorrent Beast, which was rough. I think we had to... I think we beat him on our third try? It was either our third or our fourth. And so now we're on level three, and I don't know how many levels there are going to be. It could be... Oh. It could be three, just like standard Ailing Loran, or maybe it could be more. Bolt Damp Blood Gem 6. Oh, I should have changed a great sword first. Oh, he wasn't. If he was facing me, that would have been horrible. That would have been a nightmare. Yes! Oh. Viscerals feel so rewarding in this game. Sage's hair. <laughs> we killed him and stole his hair. Ooh. If we can sneak up here. Dun, dun. Nice. Alright, is there anything else in here? Oh, I thought maybe that would be illusory. No, that was it. Oh, there is another door in here. Okay. Hey, look at that. We're back out in the main room. Did I flip the lever? For the boss gate? No, okay. Wow. I missed him? Where did I come in at? I came in from there. I could have swore I ran around this entire place, clearing it out, looking for enemies. Yet somehow I missed this guy. That's crazy. I'm usually very thorough with things like this. trying to position myself here. So when I charge... There we go. Okay. Now you can just die. Blood vials. You know what? I'll take one. Oh, this might be the final boss of the dungeon. There's something here. There's a summon. Who is this? Summon Vitus. Odd damp bolt, but odd bolt damp blood gem five. How did I miss these items? Bullets. How do I get this? This is the way I came from, right? The boss door is. Just it's this is the the last area I came from, right? Oh, I bet I know what it is. I bet I know what it is. Maybe. 
Could be. Did I clear out the side room? Let me see something. I see something down there. I don't know what it is. It's either a beast or it's a blood-sucking insect. If it's a beast, is the beast dead or is it alive? He's dead. Okay, so I think I know... I think I know how I missed this. I think all this time I've been touring the side dungeon here. Yeah, I have been. That's where you buy items from, and I went this way. And it brought me all the way around into the main room. Okay, okay. Sometimes that happens. It's kind of awkward when it does, but it, it happens sometimes, so... Oh. Oh, I thought he'd... Yes! Eat sword! Damp Blood Tinge Gem 5. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that brought me in a circle. And then you go through this door. And now you're in the main room. I see, I see. The only reason that this door over there is open is because I opened it just to touch the lamp. Okay. Alright. What do we got here? Bullets? Ha. Huh. Let me scroll up in chat here. Let me take a breather. <laughs> Beezers is here. Welcome in, Beezers. How you doing? Ugh. Ooh, getting to stretch. Uh, Beezers asked, are you streaming the Summer Game Fest? Yes, we are. Uh, the Summer Game Fest goes live uh, from 5 p.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern. We're not going to stream, like, um... I know there's multiple shows, like after the main uh, opening press conference, they go into Day of the Devs, and then they have some other stuff, and then on different days of the week, they have other shows. We're only going to do the main press conference because that kind of gives you like an overview of all the, the biggest announcements. And yeah, that's from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, my time. And so the plan is to get off of Bloodborne at about 4.45. That'll give us about 15 minutes. And, uh, we will quickly toggle over to, uh, to Game Fest, and we'll co-stream that till 7, till it ends. And then we'll come back here to Bloodborne, and we'll finish up the rest of the Chalice Dungeons for the day. He says, right now I'm just playing some Bloodborne Chalice Dungeons. Nice. Which ones? He says, haven't decided if I want to purchase Elden Ring. Never played the game before. Hmm. Have you played the Dark Souls games, East? And Hoth is here. Welcome in, Hoth. How are you doing? Guy asks, can you pair with shields in this game? Can you pair with shields in Bloodborne? No. And Band is also here. Welcome in, Band. Band says, good evening, your lordship. Hope you and your chat are doing great. I'm drunk and enjoying life. Hello. Well, I hope you are someplace safe while you're intoxicated, band. I wish you much merriment and healthy imbibing. He says, yes, I beat Dark Souls 1. Oh, congratulations. When I look at... I haven't played Elden Ring yet. We're starting that next week, but when I look at Elden Ring... I feel that 
Elden Ring to me looks like the evolution of Dark Souls. It looks like the Dark Souls formula at its best. Um, Bloodborne to me feels like the spiritual successor to Dark Souls, and thus also the spiritual successor to Elden Ring, even though it came out before Elden Ring. Meaning, the the combat, the way the combat flows, and the way the weapons work, I feel is better than in any other Souls game. Or at least better than any in any Dark Souls game. Um, Elden Ring looks beautiful. It's open. It's huge grassy plains, a lot of exploration, supposed to be a lot of story and lore, and uh, I think that's going to be really cool to experience, but as far as combat goes, it may not live, be able to live up to Bloodborne. But then a lot of people seem to say that, like a lot of people say that when they have to choose their favorite Souls games... Uh, I guess let's try up first. It's either Bloodborne, Sekiro, or Elden Ring. And I would guess Bloodborne and Sekiro for the combat, even though they're quite different in terms of how they conduct their combat. Or Elden Ring just because it's so big and it's it's made more, um, I think, more approachable. So we climb the stairs, we're checking out the first door. Oh, dogs. Not dogs, dog people. Okay. Ugh, let me hide here a moment. So you might like it. I mean, if you like Dark Souls 1, I think you'll like Elden Ring. I like all the Souls games. Beecher says, and here I am with no popcorn. Well, you got about an hour to secure yourself some popcorn. If not, yeah. you got an hour to whip yourself up a snack or a sandwich. You know, some lunch. Band says, I'm home watching football and watching stream with a good friend. Sounds nice, Band. And Fusion is now here. Welcome in, Fusion. How are you doing? Fusion says, hello, and has redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome in, Fusion, for the very first time. Again. How are you doing? And Fusion has also redeemed Hydrate. Very well. Cheers. With a good streamer, I call my friend. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. He says, I heard because it's an open world concept that some of the bosses are OP from the start. I've heard the same thing. I've heard that one of the earliest bosses you face in Elden Ring, you're not actually supposed to fight. And that's the, the game's way of sort of teaching you like, hey, just because you come in across a boss or you come across a challenge does not mean you're supposed to try to I mean, well, you can try to fight. You can try to beat it. But if it's too hard, don't just, you know, keep slamming your head against the wall. Leave. Go do something else and come back later. Oh, we got it. And to be fair, that's how Dark Souls is. Right? Even Dark Souls 1 does that. In Dark Souls 1, at the very beginning, you can go multiple... Oh, that's her. You can go multiple routes. Like, as soon as you get to Firelink Shrine, you can choose to go behind Firelink Shrine through the graveyard and down into the catacombs. You're not supposed to do that, but you could. Or you can go the other direction, and you can go into the Undead Burg. Or you can even go beneath Firelink and try to go through the ghosty place. I forget what it's called. The Drowned City area. Um, 
all three of those are options. But you'll go to the, most players would go to the, into the ghosty place and learn that they can't hurt the ghosts, and so they'll just give up and leave. <laughs> then they'll try maybe going to the the graveyard area where the skeletons are. And get destroyed in like three hits. And leave again. Gotcha. And then they'll go to the undead berg. Sharp Damp Blood Gem 5. And they'll find that the hollows there are just as easy to kill, or maybe a little bit harder to kill, than the hollows in the Undead Asylum, which is the tutorial area. And that's when the player's like, oh, okay, well maybe I should go this way first then. Bad doggy. So even Dark Souls 1 does that. It just doesn't do that with a boss. <laughs> it just does that with normal enemies. Beezer says Sekiro isn't a Souls game. That's true. Sekiro, you could say Sekiro, and you could also say that Bloodborne technically are not Souls games because they do not have Souls in their name. I think many people just consider them Souls games because they have the same formula and they're made by From Software. I consider them to be Souls games and I like to read into the lore so I can sort of see how the story from one game, from a Souls game, connects to Bloodborne, and I might be able to do the same thing with Sekiro if I play Sekiro. But yes, technically you're right. They are not Souls games. Guy asks, are you going to play the Demon Souls remake? Not anytime soon if I do play it. I do not have a PlayStation 5, uh, and I have no intentions of getting a PlayStation 5. I typically like only... Wow, it is dark in there. I typically like only getting uh, one console per generation. And this generation, I actually went ahead and picked up a Valve Steam Deck. And I'm very glad I did. Because my desktop computer broke down. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't able to repair it. And uh, I just started using my Steam Deck as a computer until I could repair it. And I ended up just sort of uh, not going with that idea anymore. And I settled on just using the Steam Deck as my main computer. Which works because it's cool, it's portable, and it's actually stronger than my desktop was. So, it is a win all the way around. Okay, I was in here. Came in here, let's try going right first. Uh, I do intend to get a PlayStation 6. And what I'm thinking is I'll probably try to get a new PlayStation console every other generation. And then I'll just use that console's backwards compatibility to play games from the previous gen that I missed. So I plan to, like, leapfrog. Like, I'll get every other generation of PlayStation and every other generation of the Steam Deck. Um, but yeah... I should be able to play PlayStation 5 games on a PS6 through backwards compatibility. Now, will I play the Demon Souls remake uh, via that backwards compatibility? Well, that I don't know. Uh, I've said before, I do want to play through all the Souls games. Um, and I have beaten Demon Souls. I just beat the original Demon Souls. Um, if I do play the remake I mean there is that possibility but right now I'm leading I don't know I really don't know like I only really want to play through every Souls game once at least once with one class and then that's it 
and uh, the remake is essentially the same game. So, I don't know if that's something I'd get into. Ah, there's the lever. But, what I might end up doing is... And I've, I've considered this too. Is that once I beat all the Souls games, I might revisit them all. Create a new character. And have that character be the opposite of whatever I played last time within that game. So, for example, in the original Demon Souls, we played as a magician, heavily reliant on magic. So if I do play the Demon Souls remake, I will not do that again. I will play the opposite. I will play ooh, beast blood pellets. I will probably play a warrior class and go pure melee. And then who knows, that could lead me, here's some bullets, uh, into replaying the other Souls games. And I would probably tweak the formula a bit. Like, I, I would choose a different class. We were a paladin in Dark Souls 1. I think it'd be kind of cool. What's that? Blood cocktails? Blood cocktails. I think it'd be cool to go as a, uh, a Dark Knight in Dark Souls 1. Wear the full Dark Wraith gear. I mean, I would like to, to play as a new class in every Souls game. But once we get through Elden Ring and possibly Sekiro... We'll be out of Souls games until From Software gives us something new. So, who knows? I might replay them all. I might just do the remake of Demon Souls. I'm not sure yet. Is that a door? That is a door. Did I go through? Okay, I came from there, right? I went that way. I opened the door. I explored this. That was the lever. There's a door here. Did I go through this door already? You can probably tell I'm not a good multitasker. <laughs> it's hard for me to, to talk and to... to remember what I'm doing at the same time. Ah, dead doggy. I wasn't here. Okay. Wait, is... Did I just make a circle? Top of the stairs. Go through a door. Turn left. Turn left again. Turn left again. I did make a circle. Okay. Now we can start going downstairs. <sighs> but yes, I might play Demon Souls Remake. But like I said, if I do, it won't be for a while. PlayStation 6 hasn't even been announced yet. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bit. Sekiro is Beezer's favorite Souls game. How would you rate the Souls games, Beezer's? From the one you like the most, which is Sekiro, to the one you like the least. Okay, I originally came from that way. Alright, let's start going down. Bolt paper. Wait, 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 wait. In all of those rooms upstairs... Were there no blood vials? Like, at all? Because, I mean, I'm missing a little chunk of health, so if I can top up on health, that would be nice. For me, it's definitely Dark Souls 2 as my favorite. And then would be Bloodborne. 
in terms of combat, Bloodborne's number one for me, though. Like I've said before, I love the weapons. I love the combat in Bloodborne. I've, I've never played a better uh, Souls game, or for that matter, a better action RPG in my life that has more fun and rewarding combat than Bloodborne. Um, no? No? Yes, there we go. Awesome. But yeah, Dark Souls 2 for me would be number one. I love the story. I love the atmosphere. I love the feeling of hope. Um, or it seems like, you know, the... What's his name? The Chosen One of Dark Souls when it didn't really seem like he had a choice. Like, you do have a choice, technically, at the end of Dark Souls 1. Like, you can become the, the ruler of the dark, or you can rekindle the first flame. But I think most people just assume... Ooh, King Cold Blood 12. I think most people just assume, as I assume, that the hero chose to rekindle the first flame. Like, canonically. Even though there's no real way to, pr to prove that canonically. Um... There are hints, but there's no way to prove it. Uh, and that's just because he largely was ignorant of what was going on. He's calling Joseph. But in Dark Souls 2, it seems like maybe there's another way. Maybe there's a way to, to break the cycle, to, to end the curse once and for all. And, you know, that doesn't happen because Dark Souls 3 comes out. But at least, like, within the within just the framework of Dark Souls 2, it feels like it's, it's more hopeful. And I love the characters, I love the NPC, I love how they throw more dialogue at you. Okay, so there's nothing down here at all, then. Except for a summon. Okay. Um. So that's a good deal of fun, I enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, it's just really- and the music, I love the music. Uh, Majula is amazing. Just, I love Dark Souls, too. Um, but yeah, Bloodborne. Number two, for its combat. I also love some of its bosses a lot. Lady Maria is a lot of fun. Um, oh, look at that. No. Oh, yeah. I think this is it. I think this is the final boss of the dungeon. Huh. <sighs> After Dark, after Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne, let's see, it would be Demon Souls. Uh, Demon Souls was my first. I like the fact that there are gimmick bosses in Demon Souls, and I like the fact that in Demon Souls, once you know the layout of the levels, most of them are not that hard. I would say the second one is still a bit tough, the mines. Uh, but aside from that one, the rest of the levels are pretty easy to travel through. They're not really much of a threat. Um, and I like the uh, the mysticalness of the hub area of the Nexus. And uh, I like the Firekeeper, the Maiden Black. And I like just the, just the magical lore that is Demon Souls. Um, after Demon Souls, it would be Dark Souls 3 for its bosses. And then last place would be Dark Souls 1. So I know for many people, Dark Souls 1 is probably their favorite, but for me, it's my least favorite. I still like it. It's still a really good game. My favorite boss in the Souls series is from Dark Souls 1, which is Knight Artorius. Um, but yeah, out of all the Souls games, I would say that it's my, my least favorite. Oh. Beezer says, see, this is why I want you to play Sekiro. You'll see why I say it's not a Souls game. We shall see, Beezers. We shall see. I saw last night as I was trying to get some sleep that uh, Squirmy Duck started streaming. And she popped into Sekiro. I didn't see what she was doing, though. No spoilers for me. But, uh... I'm wondering how uh, how much progress she's been making on that. 
East asks, any co-op today or after Summer Game Fest? Yes. So we're going to try to take a break here for Summer Game Fest in the next half hour. So hopefully I can beat this boss in the next half hour. And uh, this will be the only single player dungeon that we're doing today. The... Um, the Lower Loran Chalice Dungeon. Uh, when I was touring Lower Loran Chalice, I found and purchased the Sinister Lower Loran Root Chalice. But after I beat this boss, I should get the uh, Lower Loran Root Chalice, the non-Sinister version. So yeah, we complete this dungeon. We break for Game Fest. After Game Fest ends, we come back to Bloodborne, and we have co-op for the last two dungeons. So... Lower Loran Root and Sinister Lower Loran Root. Beezer says, Beezer says, for me, Dark Souls 1 is number one. It started me on the franchise, then Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, then Demon Souls. I can't rate Dark Souls 2 as I've never played it. Okay. Well, let me, let me generalize it more. Out of all the From Software games, how would you... Well, I guess those are, those are all the From Software games. Well, no, no, they're not. Out of all the From Software games, let me ask that way. How would you rate... How would you rate them all? So where would... I mean, I know Sekiro is not your number one, but where does Bloodborne fall in there? Well, you did put Bloodborne in there. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing for you, Sekiro is number one. Dark Souls 1 would be really number two. Then Dark Souls 3. Then Elden Ring. Then Bloodborne. Then Demon Souls. So you don't, really, you don't like Bloodborne as much. Okay. He says, as always, I'm here if you need me. All right. Thank you, East. I will definitely be looking for some Hunter help after Game Fest. And Lorelai is here. Welcome in, Lorelai. How are you doing? Lorelai's counting down 13 days till the DLC release for Elden Ring. Yep, yep. I'm excited. I'll, we'll actually be starting Elden Ring. Our first playthrough of Elden Ring on this stream next week, which will be the week that the DLC drops. Beezer says, if we go from soft, Tenchu will be number two, technically, LOL. Oh, that's true. That is from soft. I was a Tenchu fan back in the day, and an Echo Knight fan back in the day. You know what I would love to see? I think I said this in another Soul stream. I would like to see From Software remake. What is it? Remake Kingsfield. Kingsfield is just like a first person Dark Souls. Um, you can't really play it unless you go through emulation. It is incredibly difficult to play Kingsfield or incredibly expensive. Like, I think there's a version on PlayStation 2 you can play. Um, I think there's a version on PlayStation 1 that you can play. Uh, but those are those are quite costly. Uh, and those are sort of misnumbered. Like, we never got the original Kingsfield here in the States. We only got Kingsfield 2 and 3. But they're called Kingsfield 1 and 2 because we never got... The, the, the actual number one. Um, it'd be great if they just re remade those and just threw them out for sale. I would totally pick those up. And Jans is here. Welcome in, Jans. Jans is a new personal record. LOL. Hi, everyone. Oh, Jans is on a 50 stream streak. Congratulations, Jans. Big congrats. Thank you again for the consistent viewership as well. Lorelai says, I'm doing good, and you are for you. I'm doing good, Lorelai, doing good. I'm excited for the day. We're here playing some more Bloodborne, about to go into what may be the final boss encounter of this dungeon. Um, then we have Game Fest to look forward to, and then after Game Fest is over, we have more Bloodborne, and it'll be co-op when we get back. Yes, congrats, Jans, on that streak. All right. Let's see who the next boss is. The final boss is. Hopefully it's an easy one. <laughs> oh, what? 
Lor what? Loran Dark Beast. Oh, this is Dark Beast Parl. Sorry. Of. to dodge and get too late. Stop it! I'm doing some decent damage when you get under him. He like cranes his head down to look at you. before he launches the AOE. I wanted to hit him in the face, but he was too far away. roll out of that in time. Oh! Oh, I don't know where he is anymore. I lost contact. He got me. That was a really, really close first try. <sighs> fail redeem from East. That was a fail. Close. So close. It's just getting under him and staying under him. Maybe lock on would help me more. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see what happens.
Okay. I need to get my stamina back. Yes, get visceral. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love it. Keep my stamina back. One more. Ah. Uh. Shush. <laughs> Ailing Loran Root Chalice and a Bolt Damp Blood Gem 6. Oh, oh yes. Ah, East Redeemed Hydrate. Very well. Cheers, East. And cheers to all of your wonderful hunters out there. And East and Jammed. I said Jammed. <laughs> East and Jans, both redeemed Congo rats. Thank you for the congrats, you two. Ah, we did it. Oh, I can get my Blood Echoes back, too. Forgot about that. He gave me almost 120,000 Blood Echoes. Just him alone. We did it. There's no more. We completed the dungeon. The entire Lower Loran Chalice dungeon. Very cool. And we knocked it out about 20 minutes early. That is awesome. Everything is working out. All right. Returning to the Hunter's Dream. Let's fix some stuff up here and plant our next chalice. Repair. Oop, 90 blood echoes. And do we have any better blood gems? No. No. Nope. Ah, well. Stock on items. Yeah, lock and help more with that fight. 18 blood vials. Alright. We'll hold off on the rest. So I can use that to plan our next chalice. Leaving that there. Alright, chalice ritual. Lower Ailing Loran Root Chalice. 11,500 Blood Echoes, 13 Ritual Blood Fives, 4 Blooming Child Blood Flowers, 5 Tomb Mold Fives, and a Red Jelly. 
Root chalice that breaks multiple labyrinth seals. Root chalices used in rituals to break old labyrinth seals are said to change the labyrinth's form each time. There are trace remains of medical procedures in parts of Ailing Loran. Whether these were attempts to control the scourge of the beast or the cause of the outbreak is unknown. Let's do it. Conduct ritual. Yes. The ritual is finished and a chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. Okay. Alright, that's set up for next time. 